again. He wants to come to dominate the heart of man again the way it was initially. <laughs> Keep on reading. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, mm -hmm. I told you these things? Mm -hmm. And now you know what is restraining, mm -hmm. that he may be revealed mm -hmm. in his own time. That he may be revealed in his own time. Uh -huh. For the mystery of lawlessness mm -hmm. is already at work. He is already at work, but unlike Christ, uh -huh. only he who now restrains uh -huh. will do so until mm -hmm. he is taken out of the way. Until he is taken out of the way. We are going to learn that very deep. Uh -huh. And then the lawless one will be revealed. And then the lawless one will be revealed. Whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. When God comes, that which we call the rapture, when he comes, he consumes the enemy and the sinners and believers and those who are in Christ remain safe. Amen. Whom God will consume at his so the coming of the Lord is a disaster to an unbeliever. But for us, it's a good news. Continue reading. The coming of the lawless mm -hmm. one is according to the working of Satan. Uh -huh. With all power, mm -hmm. signs, mm -hmm. and lying wonders. Uh -huh. And lying wonders. Mm -hmm. And lying that we shall know more. Uh -huh. And with all unrighteous deception, and with all lies and deceptions, mm -hmm. among those who perish. So, are you understanding the Antichrist? Uh -huh. Among those who perish and believers, because they did not receive the love of the truth, because they did not receive the love of the truth, that they might be saved, that they might be saved. And for this reason, and for this reason, God will send them strong delusion. God will send them strong delusion. In so that is a lie. Among I mean, that's what in twenty confusion. You know, confusion. Uh -huh. That they should believe the lie. That they should believe the lie. Uh -huh. That they all may be condemned. That they all may be condemned. All of them. All of them may be taken by the judgment. Uh -huh. Who did not believe the truth? Them who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure, but had pleasure in unrighteousness, in unran and unrighteousness. Uh -huh. But we are bound to give thanks to but, God. But for us, we are bound to thank God. Always for you, for you and I also thank God for me. All. Uh -huh. Brethren, beloved by the Lord. Uh -huh. Because God from the beginning uh -huh. chose you for salvation. God chose you even before you were born for this salvation. Uh -huh. Through sanctification. Through san sanctification. By the Spirit. By the Spirit. And the belief in the truth. And the belief in the truth. Uh -huh. To which He called you by our gospel. Uh -huh. He calls us by gospel, the true gospel, the pure gospel. Yeah. For the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus so, Christ. So, hey, why do we normally say we don't share the glory with Christ? He says, for the obtaining of, so for the receiving of the glory. And that's why Jesus says, we said it in the book of John. Father, I thank you because of, of uh, the glory you gave me. I have given them. <laughs> Therefore, brethren. Therefore, brethren. Stand fast and hold the traditions which you are taught, whether by word or, or our epistle. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and our God and Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting consolation. Everlasting consolation. This is a comfort, everlasting comfort that we are safe in Christ Jesus. And good hope by grace. And good hope in grace or by grace. Comfort your hearts. Comfort your hearts. And establish you in every good word. And, and establish work. you in good word and work. And work. Uh -huh. Image. Comfort. Last verse. Comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word. So, Pastor Owen, work. when I'm sharing with you the message about rapture, I'm comforting you. It's a good news. When I come and tell you about rapture. I'm not intimidating you. Um, because we have been intimidating people. 
of the teacher of rapture. You know, Jesus is coming. And as it will, and we, we, we know that those who will remain are sinners. <laughs> and those who will go are holy. Now we know. Those who are taken away are sinners. Taken away by what? Judgment. <laughs> good, good. Hallelujah. Now, Matthew 24, verse 23. Matthew 24, verse 23. We go back to Jesus. Uh, then if anyone says to you, uh -huh. look, look, here is the Christ, mm. or there, do not believe it. If anybody tells you, here is Christ, come on, it's there. Ah, I mean, you Don't believe it. <laughs> So when you are told, look, he's here, there is a reason because that verse, Jesus is explaining how rapture it will be, but in mysteries, he's hiding it. We, are, we shall understand where will Jesus come from. Ask yourself that question. Where will Jesus come from? Where? Jewelize. And go and make plan. And then let us meet for more. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians 3, verse 13 only. 3, verse 13. First Thessalonians 3, verse 13. So that he may establish your hearts blameless in wholeness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. with all his saints. Now, Jesus, he's coming. This one seems to be confusing. And he's coming. He will come with his saints. Who are the saints? Who are the saints? Who are the saints? Yes, yes, Pastor. Yeah. We are the saints. Good, hallelujah. We are the saints. He will come with the saints. Now that will pose a very big question. Where will Jesus come from? I leave it for you at that point. Kwanzaa. Hallelujah. Maybe I will take that on Sunday. Colossians 3, verse 6. Now I want you to write these things. Kwanzaa only. Colossians 3, Kwanzaa. And then we pray. We shall begin from there. Next day. And I Christ. And in Christ. And in Christ. Oh, when the, the day of Antichrist, there is, a, uh, 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 there is a, a man who will come, a huge man. He's called Alexander the Great. In fact, Alexander is not even found anywhere in the Bible. Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great, he will come. Where? Where? Pastor, you must give him Alexander the Where? Alexander the Great is only mentioned. In Maccabees, the book of Maccabees. When I do Maccabees, he believe in Maccabees. Do Maccabees. Kuna Maccabi one, Maccabi two. So Maccabees, he is only mentioned in Maccabees. He was a king of Macedonia. I don't want to go that route. Hallelujah. And then when when Daniel is writing the book of Daniel, Daniel wrote it in exile. He wrote that book in the sixth century before Christ. And then Zechariah also comes to write around 5.30, between 5.30 before Christ, the book of Zechariah. And only Zechariah and, 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 and uh, Daniel mentioned the king of the, the empire of Macedonia, not by name. And then now Alexander the Great was born a hundred years after Zechariah has wrote this. Are you, are you following me, somebody? He was born a hundred years after Zechariah is born. And then, and then after Zechariah prophesied together with Daniel. And then he only lived for 32 years and he died. What did I say? I said he lived for 32 years and he died. And then in church we are talking about Antichrist, talking about Alexander the Great, a man who never appeared even in the Bible. You will understand the book of Daniel like never before. 
utakuwa unachukua kitabu ya revelation unatembea kama unaenda kuganya na baiskeli maana tu wewe spot hata kama unaenda tu kama umefunga macho hivi unajua ah nimefika kona 1 ah nimefika kwa nje kwenda kwa Eunice Mora ah nimefika because the bible is a book of simplicity but theology may it to be complicated for them to earn some money from you to tell you you have to bring some money for us to teach you theology and give you what a degree i have the degree of christ Amen. hallelujah Amen. praise be jesus oh hallelujah like this things number one rapture is the end of everything number two rapture is the reward for our faith number three rapture is the payment for unbelief i thought you were not right Oh Lucy, oh, Lucy, Lucy baga ameshika bila baga hapa. Oh ni sana sana mami. Rapture is the end of everything. We are going to learn about these things I'm telling you tonight. Number two, rapture is the reward for our faith. It's a reward for our faith. And it's also a reward the wages of sin is so it's also a reward for non sinners because they will be taken away by what? Judgment. Rapture is the payment for unbelief also. So it is reward for our faith and payment for unbelief. Another one. Am I too fast? Rapture is the final redemption of the body. That's what the secret is also. Rapture is the redemption of our bodies. Am I good? The redemption of the body. Don't worry, we shall get deep into this. Another one. Rapture is the good news for a believer. Rapture is the good news for a believer. Another one. Rapture is the closure of grace for an believer. Another one. After rapture, you cannot no man will save himself by his own blood. After rapture, you will not save yourself. You cannot save yourself. Tulitanganywa. Hiyo ni injili angalia. Wakati unyapuzi tafanyika, tukwanza tunaambiwa. Haleluya. Don't worry, you know, when when Christ comes, he will take those who are holy and then others will remain. Now those who will remain after many, there will be tribulation, there will be tribulation, there is pre-tribulation, tribulation, post-tribulation. Are you seeing how the mind of man organizes things? There is tribulation when it pre tribulation come up ready there will be pre tribulation tribulation post tribulation i'm telling you deliver us and now get what i'm telling you here we shall go deep into it hallelujah maybe we shall just read acts chapter 4 verse 12 to show you you cannot save yourself mtu asikudanganye after rapture the only person who will enter to heaven he will save himself by no you cannot you cannot you cannot can you read acts 4:12 no is there salvation in any other There is no salvation in any other. Pastor David, you cannot save yourself because there is no salvation in you to save yourself. In fact, your blood cannot even save a mosquito. Did you hear me? Ronald, your blood cannot save even a mosquito. Are you aware of that? Your blood cannot save even at a pain there is no salvation in any other eh? can you read again nor is there salvation in any other uh-huh. for there is no other name uh-huh. under heaven uh-huh. given among men uh-huh. by which we must be saved there is no other name that has carries the basis of salvation other than the name jesus christ So after rapture somebody don't wait to save yourself by your own blood it's nothing like that 
I don't want to come here to lie to you because theology in a kubembeleza. In a sermon, Sasa Bada in a kuzi, Bado Kuna Kipindi in Guinea. No, the Bible says Jesus died once and for all for salvation. The purpose of death is salvation. You are not born again, you have disbelieved. For God so loved the world, can you open that John 3 16? For God so loved the world, the man who lived with your daughter, Leo Yangali Vileaco, Leo Yangali to Father, eh? Baka Wendele. For God so loved the world uh -huh. that he gave his only begotten son mm -hmm. that whoever believes in him, whoever believes in him should, not perish, should not perish but have everlasting life. But have everlasting life. Now my hand. Continue. For God, did For God did not send his son. Now listen to this. Those who believe in him, what will they have? Everlasting. Life. Now for God did not send his son mm -hmm. into the world to condemn the world. He did not send his son to condemn the world. But the world, but the world through, him, through him might be saved. The world must be saved through him. Continue. He who believes in him uh -huh. is not condemned. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. He who believes in Christ is not condemned. Is not condemned. He will be condemned. He has not been condemned. He is not condemned already. There is no condemnation to them who are in Christ. So he who believes is not condemned. And he who does not believe, now I'm finished. He who does not believe is, is condemned already. Great. Is condemned already. So you are an unbeliever. Don't wait for judgment. You are already judged. You are already condemned. So the day of rapture, those who are already rewarded because they are believers, they remain, and then those who are already condemned, they are taken away by judgment. <laughs> this gospel is too boring. You are, your vehicle is coming. Your vehicle is coming. Your Lord is coming. Your airplane is coming. It cannot work here. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Now my question is this. Who is the Antichrist? Who is the Antichrist? Who is the Antichrist? If you're right in saying, to know the Antichrist, I must first know Christ. <laughs> Many people know about God, but they don't know God. Oh, many people know about Christ, but they don't know. Nana na jua gare apa? Nana na jua gare apa? Ah, amu jua gare? Sikar ni kitu tu kona mguru dume nne, kona kisteering dani, apa kerja na pip pip? Nana jua yo? We all know it, sendio. Ah, nana na jua drive gare. Nana na jua gari. Nana na jua gari. Amu jua gari. Ebu mutua download picha gari. Tuwa wajesh. Ama mutua ni chore. Who knows a vehicle? All of us. Put your hands down. Who knows to run a vehicle? To drive a vehicle? Good. So, others they know about, but they don't know. When we learn about the cross, did we know Christ or not? We knew Christ. Because if Christ was not crucified, then our preaching is in vain, right? If he did not resurrect, then there's no salvation. Your salvation, your faith is in vain. That's what the Bible says. Hallelujah. And we read all those things from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Hallelujah. So, who is Christ? 
Christ is, I am who? Oh, can we come here, please? Hallelujah. I want us to honor this together. Who is Christ? Christ is, I am who? I am. That is true. Who is Christ? I am who? He says in the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6, I am the Lord God, and I change it not. O Israel, oh, can we just read Malachi 3, 6? Maybe, Mutra Nashanga, Malachi 3, 6. Malachi 3, 6. Very quickly, please, please, I don't have time. For I am the Lord. I am the Lord. I do not change. I do not change. Therefore you are not consumed. Therefore you are not consumed. Who? All sons of Jacob. All sons of Jacob. Sons of Israel. Why is he saying you, know, you are not consumed? Because they knew God as a consuming fire. God is not a consuming fire. Hallelujah. When you read Hebrews 12, 29, he was teaching the Hebrew, because the book of Hebrews is about the book of Hebrews is I, 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 it's more revelative than what I'm talking here. Hallelujah. So listen to this. They knew God. That's why in Exodus 24, the glory of God to the Israelites was like consuming fire. So from that time, they mistook the glory of God and they began to call it consuming fire. And from that time, they began to say, God is a consuming fire. So when you come to Hebrews 12, now he begins to teach them who is God because God is not a consuming fire. That's why verse 29 says, for us the Jews, God, our God is a consuming fire according to how we understand. But now Malachi is telling them, no, I'm not a consuming fire. I am and I change it not. I don't change. Meaning, what Christ did is what he will do. That's why we realize that God never gave Moses the law. Never. Because when we read Acts chapter 7, 5 and 53, it says that Moses was given the law by the angels. In hands. So there are things that you will think is God who did, but it's not God until you get to understand. So he says, I am the Lord, I change not. So I will not consume you because they knew him as a consuming fire. He says, no. Exodus 3, verse 13 and 14. Exodus 3, verse 13 and 14. Quickly, please. I have five minutes now. Five minutes to finish. It says, Then Moses said to God, Indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they say to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? Tell them. Uh -huh. And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am, I am who has, I am, has sent me to so, you. Who is God? Who is Christ? I am who I am. The word Christ comes from the Greek word Christos. Hallelujah. Christos. Thank you, Felicia. I don't want to go there right now. And who is Andy Christ? Now, Christ is I am who I am. And Christ is I am who I am not. Did you get the flow? Who is Christ? I am who? I am. Who is Anna Christ? I, I am who? I am, I am not. Second <laughs> uh, Corinthians 11 verse 13 to 15. For Satan must correct himself as the angel of light. Is he the angel of light? But he makes himself to look like the angel of But he is he the angel of light? So who is Antichrist? I am who? I am not. So can I can Christ or can I go here? Now the family know that I honor my true colors. I my true colors. Okay, who said that I draw my true colors? Come and go, Pamela. And I draw Pamela is what she is. I am who I am. 
Weil es uns besser ist. Christ reveals God. Christ reveals God. So, Christ is I am who I am. I never change. And the Christ, I am who? Was soll ich tun? What did I just show him? I show him love. How cheerful, how I love him closely, how obsessive I am to him. Um, and then when he left, what did I begin to do? I began what the Englishman called Ognyos. I began to Ognyos. That's, that, that's, I, uh, that's, did you get that from me? You can, you, that one you can only find it in the dictionary. Hallelujah. No more dictionary. So I began to Ognyos. And I'm thinking, and I'm he. Pura kabisa. So that is now, I am who? How many antichrists are here now? Can I see them by the hand? I am who I am? That is antichrist. I don't care, chat up. To there's no problem. Now you understand. Who is Andy Christ? I am who? Who is Christ? Hallelujah. Who is Christ? I am who I am. Who is Andy Christ? I am who I am. We shall begin from there. I want us to stand up. because you are even enabling my system to internalize deeper the 
the things that you are teaching me with much revelations to another dimension in the name of our Lord Jesus. I declare I will never be the same again because I'm ready for this revelation. I'm ready for this learning. I'm ready for you to speak to me in dimensions of the glory that I may not expose my ignorance. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you and we 
glorify you this precious moment that Lord you have begun even to take us deeper into your work that Lord we may know the realities in you because you are I am who I am and Lord as you are made available in us and also made known to us we also get advantage of knowing the other part of the other person I am who I am not but I thank you because of the character that remains the same. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And that's why you are, I am who I am. Thank you, Father, because you have taught us. Thank you even for the remaining segments as we serve you, God. You are not giving us this revelation knowledge by peradventure. You are not giving us this understanding by peradventure. You are not giving us these teachings by peradventure. But you are giving us that we may serve you in the splendor of your nature, in the splendor of your holiness, in the splendor of your righteousness. Mighty Father, thank you because we know that holiness is not something, holiness is a person, Christ Jesus. Righteousness is not the doings, righteousness is a person in Christ Jesus. For you have told us in your word, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 30, that you, you are our righteousness, our holiness. You are our wisdom and you are our deliverance, our restoration. And because you are the, that in us, you are the one preparing us. Because without holiness, no man shall see God. And you are our holiness. You are preparing us, Lord. Thank you for being a way to prepare the saints. Thank you because many times you have tried to prepare ourselves away, to prepare for you coming. But right now we declare you are preparing us by such in the name of Jesus. Thank you for every man of God who is here. Thank you for every woman of God who is here. Thank you for every son and daughter. Thank you, Lord, for every minister. Father, even as we go to another segment, our way of serving you has totally changed because of what we have known. Our lives will never be the same again. Father, as you will now unveil the things we have been learning as examples on Sunday, I also pray for dear ones here, your beloveds and also my beloveds, that Lord, they will remain connected and impacted with this word for them to understand the next level of what we have been doing to build the foundation. In Jesus' name, we pray and declare. Celebrate Jesus.